my waters just broke. That's amazing, you are. Uh oh, no. uh -oh. your shoe. Lucky you told me. Why does this shoe keep falling off? Oh, what's going on? Why does this? Shoe Falling off your sausage. Happy, happy dance, dance. <laughs> Careful, please. Open, please. I can't believe I bought my camera up beside the bed. I knew I should have washed my hair tonight. Like I just knew it. It's um, it's 11 o'clock at night and I was scrolling on my phone when I was meant to be asleep. Bub is asleep in her house bed, if you can see. Um, my water's just broke. So I really need to go to sleep now and try to get some rest, but I'm kind of excited like that was so weird I just felt something and I was like that's not doesn't feel right and then I sat up and then it just kept coming sorry so I really need to try to go to sleep now but I knew I should have washed my hair like I don't know what's gonna happen now like I don't know if I'm going to start getting pains or not. I know that I need to go to sleep. I've got a lot of pressure down there and like a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions have been happening all day and like nerve pain in my groin like and walking was really uncomfortable today. All right. I'm excited but I feel like I'm not ready but I'm so ready I'm so ready but I'm not ready but I am ready but I'm all right, I've got to go I've got to go to sleep okay all right I will I'll check back in in the morning how am I meant to sleep now I'm so excited I'm so excited like I'm I'm nervous but I'm excited but I'm oh, I just I don't like I haven't even, I didn't clean the kitchen properly and I know that I should have, oh, what else haven't I done? All right, I think, I think this is the start of the birth vlog, okay? <laughs> okay, I've got to go, I've got to try to get some sleep. Okay, bye. Morning. So I reckon I've had about three hours sleep maximum. At one stage, I was getting contractions every 11 minutes. I was timing them, but then they kind of went away. So I'm just gonna call the hospital. Um, I would have kept sleeping, but my baby woke me up. Of course, she wants the booby still. Yes, I know, I'm still breastfeeding. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna call the hospital and work out what I'm meant to do because like I keep losing a lot of fluid like water's still just like so much water's coming out um yeah I'll just call the hospital and work out what's going to happen today and I've got to clean the kitchen all right I'll 
check back in soon. Okay, update. Apparently I was meant to go to the hospital last night, so I've got to go there now. They want to check everything and monitor and stuff. All right, well, kind of stuffed up there, but I don't know. Everywhere on Google is like, wait to get pains and then go into the hospital. All right. <laughs> Bye. Guess I'm going to the hospital now. I'm just walking into the hospital, but yeah, I... I reckon I got every red light coming here. I've got water like gushing out. So I left my hospital bags at home, <laughs> dropped my baby with my best friend, made her food for the day, had to hang the washing. All right, okay. Oh, it's getting harder to walk. They're just monitoring me, but my waters broke last night and there's just so much gushing out. I've gone through my pants and like, there's just so much. I'm just worried that the baby's gonna dry up in there. Like it's, I can't believe how much fluid there is. <sighs> All right, so it's the middle of the night and just went downstairs and got myself a bowl of yogurt. It's been over 24 hours now since my waters have broken and my waters have not stopped. Like there's, it's, it's been like gushing. It's been insane, which of course makes me worry that the baby's drying up in there. So I'm just frustrated because the OB sent me home hoping that my body would start its contractions on its own but yeah I'm just I should be sleeping right now because I've got a really really big day tomorrow but I'm just frustrated that the contractions aren't really happening it's kind of been like three every hour and it's just not really enough so I'm gonna eat my yogurt and hopefully get two more hours of sleep and yeah I just I didn't want the drip the drip if anyone watched my last birth vlog it's I know that it's intense and I know it's going to be harder to manage pain wise than natural contractions it is what it is and I just hope I can bring a baby home safely uh, I gotta try sleep it's ridiculous this is so ridiculous Oh my gosh, I look so bad. You do. Gross. <laughs> well, this is this is the video before I start the drip. Hi. <laughs> and before I get on the gas too. <laughs> yeah. I know I've had nothing so far. So I'm getting monitored. And that's about it. I actually feel like a coffee. You know, I've been grossed out by hot coffee the whole pregnancy. Like it grosses me out. I've tried and I can't do it. I hope it changes once the baby's out because I, I love, like I love my, I love my morning hot coffee. Like I look forward to it and I haven't been able to have it. It's so weird. I ordered this like really good eyebrow gel and of course it didn't arrive in time. No, it's coming today, I think. Oh, Sharon, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like fresh in the morning. So was it the oldest pregnancy that you had twin? This one. This one. Yeah, and then it passed. Yeah. But then that was, I, I had a, some extra scans at the beginning because 
they just had to make sure that my body was going to absorb it because mm-hmm. I was nervous it was going to create problems when it passed. But it was, yeah. Yeah. This happens, yeah. I, um, <clears throat> I was a twin and the exact same thing happened. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was worried there wasn't going to be one heartbeat. And then when he said that there was two, I was like, oh, my gosh. Did you have, like, two eggs? Uh, I, two yeah, I had going. two it, um, transferred, yeah. yeah. But I, normally when they transfer, they transfer a good grade embryo and then a lesser grade one because I've heard before that apparently that, that helps the other one take. Oh, okay. who, who knows? It could just be the method of each clinic has their own method. But yeah, but I didn't expect that. I think they might have put two decent grade <laughs> embryos in. Did, they, did you find out the gender of that one? No, I didn't. No, no, no. It was early on though, but... Okay. Uh, any gravity is good. Okay. <laughs> the balls have made some more air in it. It looks very like... It's a little flat. It's good. It's good. I'm going to leave it off. But... Oh, yeah, I might try to eat some of it now just because... You might not eat later. Just oh. because if it gets too painful, I'm not going to be able to. Sharon, do you want to have some of this? No, nah. oh, we'll go get something anyway, soon before it all starts. Yeah. yeah.